Seeing the Love on Tour merch come to life was the most surreal thing. Thank you, Elena, who, who uh, designed our bunnies. It was the craziest feeling just walking down the street and seeing someone wearing something that I made, that I worked so, so hard for. Make some noise for Elena, everybody, for the Love on Tour. Harry Styles and his team found my work, which was the coolest opportunity of my career this far, for sure. Countless hours finally paid off. I get asked all the time why rabbits. In terms of art, how I describe it is basically my own little world. I think a lot of what makes this little world is things that make me happy and animals. <laughs> yeah. About 10 or 12 years old, my grandpa went to the pet store and surprised me with my first little bunny. He was a little black rabbit. I think it's so fun that he's kind of found his way back into my work. My Instagram is Fiorenza underscore art, and Fiorenza is my middle name. It comes from my Italian heritage, so I really wanted to incorporate that with my art business. I feel like my Italian heritage has always been such a part of my childhood growing up. My dad speaks Italian, my sister speaks Italian. They were always so passionate about the culture, the history, the food. I think that is kind of what bled into my work and started subconsciously inspiring a lot of my pieces. So without even realizing it, I think I tapped into this Italian culture. I was never good with words, writing, really anything like that. I was much more of a creative kid. I figured out I had dyslexia, which kind of answered a lot of questions. Dyslexia has been a big inspiration for my work today, and even though it was really hard in the past, I'm grateful for it now. My most recent project was for Maggie Rogers, and I did her tour posters. And then over here we have the Love on Tour bunny crew neck. Harry wrote this very sweet message on it. And this is people's favorite part is he drew a little rabbit on it. I went to the University of Illinois. It was my senior year when I really started to kind of come back to art and remember how happy it made me and focus on creating every single day and just seeing where it could take me, but it was purely fun. I started sharing my work on Instagram and I made a challenge to share art every single day, no matter if I didn't like the piece or not. I really wanted to try to get my work out there in the world and see what could happen. When I graduated college, I was so set on being a creative in the advertising field, but I started to realize that advertising wasn't filling me up the same way that art was. That drive to make something every single day after my nine to five is what ultimately fueled this side hustle to become my full-time job. My first big creative break was definitely with Casetify, and that I think is what kind of put me on the map. That also led to some partnerships with my favorite bands like Mountjoy, who I'm very close with now, to collaborations like Stance. I'm in a place where I'm truly happy doing something I love every single day. The future for Fiorenza Art is it's unknown for me, honestly. I'm just really focused on saying yes to as many opportunities as I can, and I'm so grateful I get to call this my job. It is the greatest gift ever. Yeah.